hi everyone. <laughs> uh, I probably have using my Facebook more about, I guess, I guess real life more stuff than I used to. Before I always posted like all the great things going on in my life, all the positive things going, not much, <laughs> but what I could have. And uh, it's fake, you know? I always post like happy stuff. My life's not always happy and it's funny because a lot of people think my life is all hunky-dory and all happy. No, it's not. Come on, I gotta deal with people like you on a daily. So it's not always happy, so I'm just putting it on there. Um, but anyways, uh, <laughs> I'm watching my dog voting. Uh, like people who has a type. People always ask me, what's your type? I said, I don't have one. Like sure you do, everyone has a type. So I used to say, the most tallest, shortest, skinniest, fat guy you've ever seen, sexy, ugly, fat guy you've ever seen. And they're like, what? It's like, I don't have a type. So when I, they really want to answer. I tell them somebody who treats me right. <laughs> and how? What way? Somebody who treats me like I would treat my guy. And I've asked people before, would you date somebody like you? Most will say no, or some will say yes. Me? Hell yes, I would. I know where my boundaries are. I know where my limits are. I know where I have to be. I know what's right from wrong. You know, I'm not going to go and do drugs or drink alcohol. Just blame it on something other than myself if I'm going to do something. So, no, I don't have a type. Somebody treats me right. You line up all my exes, they don't look alike. None. <laughs> They're all, they have their own things. Um, people are saying, oh, you can get so much better than that person. Why? Because I see more than what just outer looks give to people. Like having somebody smile, for instance, who don't have teeth. When you see somebody smile, who is actually smiling, I don't see that they don't have teeth and their teeth are gone or missing. It's me seeing them for them, who they are. It's not like that for me. Just like you fall in love with somebody who has an arm missing. Are you going to hold that against them because they have an arm missing? It could have been blown off. It could have been genetic. It could have been whatever. Are you going to hold that against them? No. Do you still love them for them? Yes. Can you give a lot? Yes. So why would you hold that against them? So I, I can't stand when people sit there and say, you always you can get better. It doesn't matter what you think. It's what I think. I got disowned by what was left of the relationship with my family over a year ago. Going on almost two years ago. And I had dated a guy who was mixed. And since he was mixed, half black, half white, so people don't get confused, they uh, were totally against me for it. So what little relationship I did have, I had to get, I gave up. Because I was happy with this man. But regardless of... What they thought it was because how I felt, how he made me feel at the time, you know? I would give up that to be with somebody who makes me happy. It doesn't matter if it makes you happy or them happy. It's me who's in this relationship, not you. Just like, don't be around the bush, going around circles, you go to the damn source of something. You don't sit there, no, it's not no high school game. There, no, we are not in high school anymore, but most of these fuckers are. So when you go to the source about something, what are other people gonna answer for you? Nothing. What is that person gonna answer for you? from you hopefully the truth but not all do that but still you go to the source like you don't let other people on the outer sit there and take over your relationship or mess up your relationship by what they say why because you let them win and then you destroy or kill something that could have been even more than what you had or have but you let too many people let other outer things mess up a lot of things that they want to do in life he's just he's so damn silly um, or anything. So I go by my own judgment. And like, I guess I did tell the last guy why I fell in love with him. And I told every one of them why I fell in love with them. You know, it's not my fault if you don't remember, <laughs> you know, but I had no problem telling them again. And I have told them again more than once. You know, I can't do anything more than what I can do. I'm not going to be able to be something or someone that I am not because that is obviously not who I am and that's not me. Hey, calm down, dude. You're like tearing up my sides again. He's gotten so many holes in my damn insides in here. <laughs> Jeez, dude. Um, but I don't see how people think. I got, Obviously, that's why I think the way I do, I guess. I ask people questions and some people take it offensive and it's not even that. And then some questions... They are personal some, but I don't sit there and say them to be mean or rude. I would like to know how people think. And sometimes I would say, hey, I just want to know how people think. What do you think about this or that? 
and see what their answer will be. And it's to see, maybe, I don't know, maybe more people's point of views on how they think. Because obviously, I, I don't understand a damn thing going on in this life. Literally. I, you know, I failed school <laughs> really bad. I was always made fun of. I have like really shitty handwriting. Um, people used to write, said he's with, had wrote to let, wrote shit backwards. And then, like, in school, when I was in school, we had RIP. <laughs> like, what's that? It's like, reading improvement program? <laughs> so, it's like, uh, I'm also from the West Side. West Side, and it's also for Las Vegas. LV, because I'm from Las Vegas. Um, born in, yes, I was born there. Uh, but, yeah. I don't, I've lived in my own little world. Yes, I have. People say, watch the news. What do you think of this? I have no fucking clue what you're talking about. I don't watch the news. Hell, my life is hard enough the way it is. I can't change other people's lives in, over across seas in world or anything. I can only change what I can do as a good person and being a good person. Or not even good. It's not even a good word. A great, amazing person. Well, we clarify that. You know, I can't do everything for everybody else. I can only try to help who I can. And, you know, this body might die or I might be killed or hurt. But, you know, at least the people I have talked to it throughout my life have been touched. So that way, you know what? My memory will always live on regardless. If it's, if it's good or bad to anybody, it will always live on. And it will. That's how I believe. So that's what I'm going to go with. <laughs>